You're out for a jog, you get thirsty and hungry, but have no cash, credit cards, or even ID on you. Soon, none of that may matter. You'll be able to buy what you want at the touch of a finger. You could parachute somebody stark naked into the Gobi Desert, and if they crawled up to a juice stand that had this technology, you could buy a, buy a cold drink. Indivos in Oakland, California, is testing a new system that lets you take your ID, cash, bank card, and credit cards with you everywhere. It's all right there in your fingerprint. It's the ultimate in convenience and the ultimate in security. Nothing ever has happened like it. Biometrics, such as fingerprint scanners, used to be primarily for security authentication, like the palm print scanner for customers to access a bank's safety deposit box vault. They love going in self-service. Now, the plan is to pay for your purchases the same way. Instead of having to reach in the wallet to pull anything out, all you do is place your finger on the sensor and enter in a real quick telephone number or search code very, that you can remember, and that's it. At that point, all the, all the work's on us. It returns back the wallet, and then you choose which payment vehicle you want to, want to choose. The system verifies your identity in half a second. Pilot testing is beginning soon with supermarkets in Seattle and in a handful of convenience stores and fast food restaurants in Fresno, California, and Houston. For consumers, the free service promises great convenience, but what about security and privacy? It wouldn't be an invasion of privacy, but it would be more of a security matter getting into the wrong hands. That's, that's my concern. I don't want to be you know, the guinea pigs and uh, to be the first to try out you know, the technology. Indivos says its system offers several layers of protection. The pay-by-touch system is encrypted with four separate security keys held by four separate people. If anybody goes in and tries to pull anything from the database, the keys are dropped and you basically can't have access to none of the information. Kind of like a car radio that becomes useless if it's stolen. And the company insists the data on its servers will not be shared. As long as, uh, you know, the information is just kept confidential and used for whatever purpose it's, uh, it's required for. The company says its system never incorrectly accepts a fingerprint for identification and incorrectly rejects prints about 3% of the time. Will it mean the end of credit cards and checks? Radio didn't displace the written word. Television didn't displace radio. They're all augmentative technologies. We don't see this as a replacement for a credit card or a written check. For merchants, while not as cheap as cash, Indivo says the cost of fingerprint-approved transactions should be much less than for credit cards. And unlike a checkbook or plastic, you won't misplace your finger. In the Silicon Valley Bureau, Jim Goldman, Tech TV.